Okay, class, today we're in section 1.3, write expressions. Section 1.3, write expressions. Before, you evaluated expressions. Now, you would translate verbal uh, phrases into expressions. Now, you will translate verbal phrases into expressions. Key vocabulary, verbal model, rate and unit rate. To translate verbal phrases into expressions, look for words that indicate mathematical operations. Key concept, translating verbal phrases. Operation, addition, sum plus total more, more than increased by. Sum plus total more than increased by. A verbal phrase could be the sum of two and a number x that will be written as 2 plus x as an expression. A number n plus 7 that would be n plus 7. Operation subtraction difference less than minus decreased by. Verbal phrase the difference of a number n and 6. The difference of a number n and 6. Expression, n minus 6. Verbal phrase, a number y minus 5. A number y minus 5. Expression, y minus 5. Operation, multiplication. Times, product, multiplied by, of. Verbal phrase, 12 times a number y, 12 times a number y, expression 12y. Verbal phrase, one third of a number x, one third of a number x, expression one third times x. Division, quotient divided by, divided into. Verbal phrase, the quotient of a number k and two, the quotient of a number k and two, expression k divided by two. Order is important when writing subtraction and division expressions. For instance, the difference of a number n and six is written n minus six, not six minus n. And the quotient of a number k and 12 is written k divided by two not 2 over k, or 2 divided by k. Example 1. Translate verbal phrases into expressions. Verbal phrase a. 4 less than the quantity 6 times a number n. 4 less than the quantity 6 times a number n. 4 less, that would be a minus 4, and then 6 times a number, that would be 6 times n. So, 4 less than the quantity 6 times n. So, there's 6 times n, and less that would be minus 4. B, 3 times the sum of 7 and a number y. 3 times the sum of 7 and a number y. All right, the sum of 7 and a number y would be 7 plus y. Now, since that's together, you put that in parentheses. And then three times that. So three times the sum of seven and y. Seven plus y, the sum, and times three. The difference of 22 and the square of a number m. The difference of 22 and the square of a number m. Square of the number m, that would be m squared. And the difference would be 22 minus m. The difference of 22 and the square of the number m. 22 minus m squared. That would be the difference. When you translate verbal phrases, the words, the quantity, tell you what to group. In part A, you write 6n minus 4, not 6 minus 4 times n. Example 2. Write an expression. Cutting a ribbon, a piece of ribbon, L feet long, is cut 
from a ribbon eight feet long. Write an expression, write an expression, excuse me, for the length in feet of the remaining piece. Write an expression for the length in feet of the remaining piece. Solution. Draw a diagram and use a specific case to help you write the expression. Suppose the piece cut is two feet long. All right, so the total distance of the ribbon is eight feet. Now look down here how we break it up. The piece we're cutting is two feet. So if we cut two feet right here, then what's left? Eight minus two feet. Once again, the total ribbon is eight feet. We're cutting two feet. So what's left? Eight minus two feet, or you can say six, but you need to know how to express it both ways as the eight minus two and the six. And here they're telling you once again that the remaining piece is eight minus two feet long. So suppose the piece cut is L feet. In other words, we don't know. It's L feet. So in place of the two, we're gonna put L. The total distance is still eight feet. So the piece that we don't know, the re uh, remaining piece, has to be 8 minus L. And once again, the remaining piece is 8 minus L feet long. The expression 8 minus L represents the length in feet of the remaining piece. Example 3. Use a verbal model to write an expression. Tips. You work with five other people at an ice cream stand. All the workers put their tips into a jar and share the amount in a jar equally at the end of the day. Write an expression for each person's share in dollars of the tips. Solution, step one, write a verbal model. Amount in jar divided by number of people. Step two, translate the verbal model into an algebraic expression. Let A represent the amount in dollars in a jar. So amount in jar would be A, number of people, six. An expression that represents each person's share in dollars is A divided by six. Rates. A rate is a fraction that compares two quantities measured in different units. If the denominator of the fraction is one unit, the rate is called a unit rate. Example four. Find a unit rate. A car travels 120 miles in two hours. Find a unit rate in feet per second. Okay, so now we're going to write down what they're asking us to break down. All right, so now we got 120 miles in two hours. That's equal to, we're going to write it again, 120 miles in two hours. Now we want to convert this to feet per second. So miles have to end up in feet and hours have to end up in seconds. So we're going to do the miles first. Now whatever we want to get rid of, we got to put it, uh, go from top to bottom. So right now in the top, we want to get rid of miles. So miles have to go to the bottom. Now what do we know about miles and feet? We know that 5,280 feet equal one mile. So now my miles are going to cancel out. Now look at the hours, all right? We wanna go from hours to seconds, but we can't go there directly. So first we gotta go from hours to minutes. So I got an hour on the bottom. So now I must put hours on top. Now what do I know about an hour and minutes? One hour is equal to 60 minutes. So now my hours were canceled out. But we're not finished yet because we gotta get the minutes to seconds. So right now minutes on the bottom, so over here, I'm going to put minutes on top. Now, what do I know about a minute and a second? One minute would give me 60 seconds. So now my minutes were canceled out. So now I'm left with, after everything's being crossed out, I'm left with feet on top. We had to get feet. And I'm left with seconds on the bottom. We had to get seconds. Now we multiply going across the top. We multiply 120 times 5,280 times one times one. On the bottom, we multiply two, excuse me, we should be right here. We multiply two times one times 60 times 60. So we divide the number we get here 
bottom number we get here, and we should come out with 88 feet in one second. All right, now for those of her who are confused, all right, take good notes and follow along right here as we break it down for you one more time. You got 120 miles per two hours. You got to get the miles to feet. So I got miles up here. So that means I'm going to multiply it by miles on the bottom. Now I'm going from miles to feet. Now, one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. All right, so now we got that conversion because that's going to cancel and then that's going to cancel. See, that's gone and that's gone. Now I'm left with the feet. All right, now next, I want to get my hours to seconds, but I can't go from hours to second directly. I got to go hours, minutes, then seconds. So I got hours on the bottom. So I make my fraction bar. All right, and so now hours is going to go on top so that unit can cancel. Now I'm going from hours to minutes. I'm going to put down M-I-N for minutes. Now what do I know about an hour and a minute? One hour would give me 60 minutes. So now notice what happens. Hour cancel and the hour cancel and I'm left with just minutes. But we don't want minutes. We got to get to seconds. So now I got minute on the bottom. So to get to seconds, I got to get rid of my minutes. So if I got minute on the bottom here, to get rid of it, I must put the minute on top. All right, and I want to go from minutes to seconds. All right, now what do I know about a minute and a second? 60 minutes, excuse me, one minute equals 60 seconds. And notice my minute cancel, my minute cancel, so now I'm left with feet on top by itself, and I'm left with seconds on the bottom by itself. All right, so now I'm going to do my basic math. Okay, now when I do my basic math, I come out with 120 times 5,280 times 1 times 1. That should give you 633,600. On the bottom, you're going to get 2 times 1 times 60 times 60. That should be 7,200. And when you divide that out, you should come out with 88. And it's going to be 88 over 1. In other words, it's 88. What unit do you have on top? Feet. And what unit do you have on the bottom? Second. So it's going to be 88 feet per second. 88 feet per second is your answer. Okay, now example five is an extension of example four. Solve a multi-step problem. Training. For a training program, each day you run a given distance and then walk to cool down. One day you run two miles and then walk for 20 minutes at a rate of 0.1 mile per 100 seconds. What total distance do you cover? Solution. Step one, convert your walking rate to miles per minute. So you can use a technique that you just learned in example four. Now, currently you are walking at 0.1 mile per 100 second. So we want to, we want to convert that to miles per minute. Now, so that means we want to leave the miles alone because we want the mile to be part of our answer. We got to convert the seconds to minutes. Seconds are on the bottom, so we put seconds on top up here, and minute on the bottom. Seconds on the bottom, so we put the seconds on top so they can cancel out, and then put the minute on the bottom. Now, how many seconds are in the minute? 60 seconds in one minute. Okay, now notice, the seconds cancel out, so the seconds are gone. So all we're left with is miles on top and minutes on the bottom. Multiply going across, 0.1 times 60 is 6. 100 times 1 is 100. 6 divided by 100 is 0 0.06 mile. And that's going to be over 1. 